Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John MapTube. In today's video, we are going to continue our discussion on partial fraction and that will be type 3. Okay, by type 3, what I mean is the denominator will contain a quadratic factor. For example, the denominator might look like this x square plus 4 and let's put something over here let's say 3x plus 1 what's the degree of numerator here 1 and now look at the degree of denominator degree means you have to look at the highest power after simplification and you can see that it is equal to 3 so like type 1 and type 2 degree of numerator is less than degree of denominator so that's one condition so remember in type 1 type 2 and type 3 this condition remains the same now in type 1 the denominator was a product of symbol factors that means the power used to be 1 and in type 2 we saw factors having power more than 1 maybe whole cube maybe whole power 4 etc. Now in type 3 the denominator contains quadratic factors. Okay you might be wondering like suppose you have a quadratic like x square minus 5x plus 6 you can factorize it and I know the factors x minus 2 into x minus 3. No 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 no. The difference is this quadratic cannot be factorized. So look at this, I am not talking about quadratics which can be factorized, I am talking about quadratic expressions which cannot be factorized. Now there is a big question in front of you, how to identify the quadratic which can be factorized and which cannot be factorized. And it's really easy, all you have to do is, you have to find the discriminant. So look at this. Suppose we have a quadratic ax square plus bx plus c. Then you find the discriminant and that is b square minus 4ac. And if this discriminant is less than 0, you will not be able to factorize the quadratic into two real factors. I will show you one example x square plus 4 that is exactly what I wrote previously this is actually x square plus 0 x plus 4 so here we have a b and c as 1 0 and 4 so the discriminant is equal to b square minus 4 into 1 into 4 clearly that is negative and if the discriminant is negative, the quadratic cannot be factorized into real factors. Okay, if you want, you can put it in terms of complex numbers, but we want real factorization and that is impossible. At the same time, um, if you have a quadratic like x square minus 9, let's try, that is x square plus 0x minus 9. So the coefficients are 1, 0, minus 9. So the discriminant becomes b square minus 4 into 1 into minus 9. And this minus and minus will become positive. So the discriminant is positive. And that gives me the confidence this quadratic can be split into two real factors. And of course everyone knows a square minus b square. So this is x minus 3 into x plus 3. So let's solve the same problem. Um, okay, look at this. So what's the first condition? The degree condition. So degree of numerator less than degree of denominator. So remember in type 1, type 2, type 3, the condition, this condition remains the same. Now, in type 1, the denominator contains symbol factors. In type 2, the denominator contains factors which are of higher power. 
and in type 3 the denominator contains quadratic which cannot be factorized so the method is assume 3x plus 1 the whole divided by x minus 1 into x square plus 4 to be equal to a by x minus 1 plus for the quadratic factor I need the next two alphabets and that will be bx plus c the whole divided by x square plus 4 now my job is to find a b and c so remember whenever you have a quadratic factor in the denominator which cannot be factorized be ready with two alphabets and put the linear term on the top that's it okay now as usual you multiply throughout by this product so I'm supposed to multiply here and here and here and so what happens is the whole thing will get cancelled and here x minus 1 and x minus 1 will get cancelled and at the last these two will get cancelled so I'm going to get 3x plus 1 is equal to a times x square plus 4 plus bx plus c times x minus 1 okay now look at this I have intentionally made one mistake here I've seen many 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 students making this mistake look at this I forgot one bracket and if you forget that bracket your answer is going to be wrong so this is something very very important I've seen the same mistake in many many answer papers okay now as usual what is our aim to find a b and c so look at this what we do is we put x is equal to we have a very good value over here x equal to 1 and if I put x equal to 1 I get 3 into 1 plus 1 that will be 4 is equal to 1 plus 4 5 a and this term will vanish because 0 into something will be 0 and that gives me a is equal to 4 by 5 next what I do is I don't see any other good values so what I'm planning to do is I'm going to equate the highest powers of x so if you just go through this expression you can see that on simplification the highest power will be x square okay so I'm going to hunt all the highest power terms now look at this let's expand this this is like a into x square plus a into 4 plus b into x square minus b into x plus c into x minus c so you can see that the highest power of x is 2 so I'm going to write equating coefficients of the highest powers of x that is x square on the left side there is no x square okay so I put 0 x square and on the right side the first term I see is a and then plus 4a no there is no x square plus b x square okay so that is plus b so I get a plus b equal to 0 and that means b is equal to minus a and just now we found that a equal to 4 by 5 so b is equal to minus 4 by 5 so we got the second value okay now for the last value we do something simple I'm going to put uh, x some random values so I'm going to put x is equal to 0 so put x is equal to 0 we get 3 into 0 that is 0 0 plus 1 1 and here we get 4 a plus 0 plus c 0 minus 1 so that will be minus c so I'm going to take c that side I hope you understood because 0 plus c is c and 0 minus 1 is minus 1 so totally it will be minus c and that is 4a minus 1 
So C will be 4 into A's 4 by 5 minus 1. And that is 16 minus 5 by 5. And that will be 11 by 5. That's it. So we found A, B and C. Now it's the usual process. So you can plug in all the values over here, A, B and C. And if you want to integrate, you can integrate. If you want to take the Laplace transform, you can take the Laplace transform. If you're going for binomial expansion, okay, go ahead, do that binomial expansion. So the thing is same. So we found A, B and C. So I'll be back with type 4 in partial fraction very soon. So till then, bye.